and welcome to beginning the day with God on Monday the 26th of June. We opened our worship this morning with I give my work to you Lord by Margaret Ritzer. These are the long days when the sun rides high above us. Days to enjoy with you our sustaining God. Gratitude for the sun blinding, pulsing light through trunks of trees, through mists, through walls, warming caves and corridors, the one who wakes us in our minds, so be it. We come now to our reading for this morning, which comes once again from the book of Ezra, verses today from chapter 7. Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach the statutes and ordinances of Israel. This is a copy of the letter that King Artaxerxes gave to the priest Ezra, the scribe, a scholar of the text of the commandments of the Lord and his statutes for Israel. Artaxerxes, King of Kings, to the priest Ezra, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, peace. And now I decree that any of the people of Israel or their priests or Levites in my kingdom who freely offers to go to Jerusalem may go with you. For you are sent by the king and his seven counselors to make inquiries about Judah and Jerusalem according to the law of your God, which is in your hand, and also to convey the silver and gold that the king and his counsellors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem, with all the silver and gold that you shall find in the whole province of Babylonia, and with the freewill offerings of the people and the priests, given willingly for the house of their God in Jerusalem. Thanks be to God. We now listen to a reflection on this passage. From verse 12 onwards, chapter seven of Ezra is not written in Hebrew, but in Aramaic. That would indeed have been the language of a letter like that issued to Ezra. Whether or not the text is an accurate transcript of an official document, it shows Ezra's place in the Persian bureaucratic world as one invested with significant juridical and religious authority. Ezra is described as both priest and scribe. The former is a specifically Hebrew term referring to his role in restoring worship in Jerusalem. By contrast, scribe of the law of the God of heaven is a more universal term, designating one who is learned and authorised in religious matters generally. 
the Persian state recognized the Jerusalem temple worship as a particular local cult and gave Ezra authorization to reform the judicial system so as to support that cult. In this period after the exile, the people of Israel had to live out their particular faith in their one God among peoples who worshipped multitudes of gods. They did so with the markedly ambivalent attitudes towards the Persian kings. Here, Artaxerxes appears as a benefactor and guardian of the Jews. But by the end of Ezra's long prayer in chapter 9 of Nehemiah, the monarchs are described as oppressors, enslaving God's people in their own land. In an age where we are constantly having to rethink our own position in relation to secular authority, and where we can sometimes feel like exiles in our own country, the changing and nimble story of Ezra, priest and scribe, can teach us much wisdom. Amen. We come now to our prayers and we begin by thanking God for the gift of this new day. We pray that he may through our encounters, our conversations, our words and our deeds, that through all of those that he would make us channels of his love to others. And we continue to remember Andrew at the beginning of this week, leading up to his ordination. We pray for Andrew for all to be ordained with him on Saturday in Canterbury Cathedral. And we remember too Rona, Andrew's wife, and his two little ones, Arthur and Rowan. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We come now to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the strength of God pilot us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the shield of God defend us. May the host of God guard us from the snares of evil and the temptations of the world. May Christ be with us, Christ before us, Christ in us, Christ over us. May thy salvation, O Lord, be always ours, this day and for evermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.